Have you ever felt like you waited so long for something and you still don't have what you've been waiting for for the longest time? Maybe like right now. And they're good things too. A nice job, moving to a new place, or maybe the love of your life. These are exciting things, but God has not given them to you yet. Or what if you don't get what you desire at all? Those are some of the questions we'll be answering in this video. So if you're up for that, then stay tuned. Hello friends and family, nice to have you today and if you're new here, my name is Hannah. This channel encourages this generation to take in the word and live it out in today's culture. Here are a few things that happen when you trust God's timing. One is that you know that where you are now is where God wants you to be. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. You may not be where you want to be right now, but you know that God wants the good for you. And where you are at the moment, God is teaching you. It could be to prepare you for whatever you're praying for. I remember when I was a senior in high school and I was graduating. I was applying for different colleges and I applied in at least seven different universities. I actually passed in all of them except for that one school that I really wanted to go to. I'll say that that was a hard time for me. But during that season of mourning, I got to discover the career path that I was really gifted in, and that is teaching. If I went to the university I wanted, I actually applied for courses that would lead me elsewhere. I probably wouldn't be on YouTube doing what I do now. In your situation, you may be waiting for something now. Keep your spiritual eyes open. Allow God to teach you. Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. Stay in the word while you're waiting. During this time, there are wondrous things that the Bible says. So instead of focusing our eyes on what we don't have, focus on what we do have now. One is God's truth in the Bible. Delight in it. And speaking of that, I have my next encouragement for you. Next is, you'll become more like Christ. Psalm 37 verses 3 and 4 says this, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He shall give you the desires of your heart. During the time the psalmist David wrote this, he was telling the Israelites to enjoy the land God gave them instead of worrying and envying others, especially their enemies, who get their desires. He also says, delight in the Lord. Get to know Him more during your time of waiting. Again, primarily, it's in reading His Word that we can delight in Him. Other ways are also listening to wiser people talk about God, read books about Him, spend time with Him in prayer, and worship Him in song. Delight in Him, and as you do that, His desires will become yours too. Also, the hardships you go through in waiting will make you more Christ-like. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 says, We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance, and endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. What a rich passage that is. Sometimes waiting can be such a struggle. In our humanness, we want things right now. But also in the waiting, there is so much we can gain. Endurance, character, and hope. Traits that are Christ-like. And here's another one. It's easier to let go. Sometimes we hold on to our wants so tightly in the palm of our hands that we can't even receive the blessings that God wants us to have. Sometimes what we're holding on to may not even be what is meant for us. And so when we lose it, it's so much more painful. I experienced that with my own desires in my life for a season. I held on to them and pretended that I was in control of my life. I had an idea that I thought was supposed to be how my life should be. My dream job at that time, my own family, and that would be my happily ever after. But I was humbled and I let go of what my ideal life would have been. And just in case you want to know more about that, I put a testimony in the description box below. 
Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And so I can let go of the things that I want in my life because I know that God knows best and He is the one directing my steps. As Philippians 4 verse 7 says, We can have the peace of God which surpasses all understanding and it's in Christ. How about you? What is something you're waiting for at the moment? Or if you want to share your testimony, go ahead and share it in the comments section below. Let's start a conversation and be a blessing to our online community. Another verse that has helped me growing up is the verse Jeremiah 29 11. And it talks about God having plans for us. But do you know the real meaning of this verse? I share that in this video. If you were blessed, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, join the fam bam and hit the bell so you won't miss a video. Our hope and future is in Jesus. See you in the next video.